Greetings, lads and lasses. Are you thinking about getting married? Uh, or are you married already? Or are you thinking about getting divorced? If so, then you may find today's video quite interesting. So it's been well documented and reported uh, over the years that marriage lowers men's testosterone. In fact, I've got an article here from back in 2002 already from Harvard that seems to illustrate this fact. And I'll read it to you quickly. It says, married men, whether fathers or not, have markedly lower testosterone levels than single males, according to one of the first studies of how the hormone changes when men marry and become fathers. Results of the study done by a team of Harvard University anthropologists increase our knowledge of human biology and may have implications for so-called male menopause. Researchers have long suspected that levels of the hormone largely responsible for fighting, competing and mating decrease when men settle down and start a family. Other studies have shown that testosterone begins to decline shortly after marriage, but surges upward when unions end in divorce. So you can see back then already uh, they were onto this. So it's been known for quite some time. However, a recent study has come out of Denmark where they have followed men for 10 years, uh, starting with those and comparing those who were married to those that weren't married. And so this study was entitled Influence of Marital Status on Testosterone Levels, a 10 year follow up of 1113 men. And so I'll put everything up on the screen so that you can see it, but let's have a look at the highlights of what they found, which is very interesting. So testosterone levels decrease in men who get married. Testosterone levels increase in men who get divorced. The capacity for testosterone production did not differ according to marital status and the biological mechanisms behind these findings remain unresolved. So they're not quite sure why exactly this is, but it does seem to happen. So basically, to summarize, the results showed that men who were unmarried prior to the study, who became married during the 10 years between each sample was taken, showed the largest drop in testosterone compared to other men. As well as this, men who went from married to unmarried over the 10 year period showed the smallest decline in testosterone. So you get married, testosterone, uh, the, the decline in testosterone accelerates, you get divorced, the decline in testosterone decreases. So now, as you can see, they say here in the um, report that the biological mechanisms uh, remain unresolved. And this is something I thought would put to one of my uh, favorite evolutionary psychologists on YouTube. His name is Gad Sad. Um, but there's lots of studies and theories like this, which you can find out there. But Gad Sad's on YouTube and uh, I, I quite like him. And he offers uh, this explanation on his article on psycholo or psychology today. He says, Farelli et al. argue that to the extent that single men and men in newer relationships are still active or potentially active in the mating market, higher testosterone levels are necessary. Testosterone drives one's libido needed to pursue new sexual opportunities and it prepares men to respond to intrasexual competition, the challenge hypothesis. On the other hand, men who are in long-term relationships are more likely to reorient some of their focus away from seeking new mating opportunities, although such a po possibility always exists, and towards behaviors that aid in the retention of their current mates. So that was one possible theory I found. I found another one that says this. One explanation for the increased decline in testosterone amongst married men comes from evidence suggesting that testosterone levels increase after a period of sexual abstinence. And scientists have argued that married men have more sexual intercourse than unmarried men. Woohoo! Furthermore, the first sample of testosterone taken could not predict whether the men would be married or unmarried after 10 years, which researchers claim shows that marital status impacts on male testosterone levels and not vice versa. So all of these studies are in the description below. As you can see, there's sort of theories around why this happens, but the fact is married men, uh, their testosterone levels do decrease uh, and that decrease accelerates as they get married. But if you get divorced, then the decline in testosterone actually decelerates. So I don't know what you want to make about that, but I'm going to do a video straight after this so that if you are married and you have 
uh, notice the decline in testosterone, what does this actually mean for you? So you can find that in the next video and I hope you found these studies interesting like I did. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.